Hi, my name is Honza and welcome to the third episode of New Manchester. And in this episode we will be building a industrial area because the city needs something run down and old and a place for people to work in because right now there is just five shops in there. I counted it and it's probably five to ten shops if I really added a lot of shops. So we need a place to employ our citizens and so and maybe we can try even making some money but I don't really think this city will ever make money because yeah it's more of a build city and builds like this are more of a are more focused on how the city is built instead of how the on gameplay things like you know money and population milestones and other stuff yeah so in this video we will be building a rail yard and adding some rail cars mostly random cars so and there the industry has something <coughs> good looking and well not good looking industry does rarely look good yeah a area with higher details so i can then use it on places like reddit and inst instagram so i can flex my building skills yeah more of a real world reason yeah now i'm just adding gravel so there is some color and variation and also gravel is good for these places because it gives it kind of a how do i say it yeah it makes it look like it's kind of old and dusty and dirty and yeah now i'm adding the sawmill asset from which we use the smaller power station and switch plant because these are really good looking and yeah now again in this city not much things are extremely permanent for example these small power stations there are there they are the only as a placeholder because i didn't have any interesting assets for it for the area but those switch stations will stay because they are smaller and less noticeable yeah now i'm adding factories to the city to the area so there is some variety again and now i'm using the trick of putting two buildings together and calling it a one building i could turn one into a procedural object but i'm too lazy and we need money for this so it looks even more realistic yeah again i'm using some weird logic that doesn't make sense but it looks good when there's two buildings working and again I'm looking at it and I also deleted those two power stations because this is like three days later and I was not I couldn't play the game and make a video I was I just wasn't in at home so I was with my family yeah. now I'm building those warehouses I was talking about was I told yeah basically I added warehouses because they look kind of interesting and they have two colors so it also adds some variety again I'm talking about variety I've been talking about it too much so 
I'm going to try to not talk about it. Yeah, but... I'm adding fences so it looks better. And there is borders between each company or... Between each building and its area. And I was thinking about fencing in the rail yard, but I thought... Uh, it doesn't look that great, so I added it, I think, only one side. Yeah. Also, these fences, I changed them to the rusty fence, so it looks more interesting and old. Now, I'm adding rail cars for the station, so it looks more interesting. Again, I'm talking about something having variety or being interesting. God damn it. Yeah. So I'm adding lumber cars for the sawmill to process them. And some which are already done and processed to be shipped off. I will be also yeah, I'm also adding a tank car so places like Basically, other factories and warehouses can use those for, I don't know, transporting. Ah, forget about it. I'll think of something. Basically, transferring fluids. Yeah, I'm adding those train cars so it has some color change and. It doesn't look as bland. And now I'm adding locomotives for those train cars to be hauled so they can be hauled away at a, in a moment. And there is not like a covered depot, which there will be some time later with full on maintenance and stuff, but this is enough for like when the trains are just there for like few days or few hours so they can wait in there for until their next service and when s they go they just you know go around the place and through the switches but yeah this place is also very confusing because there's like a bazillion switches in there there is one to the small power plants and other areas. Yeah. Now I'm adding a crane so it looks better and there is something to unload the train cars otherwise it would be that someone would have to go in there and take those cargo pieces by hand which would be probably very annoying so yeah now I'm adding static pillars not something that can move and I might change it later if I find the assets but for now it's going to be like that now I'm changing up the train cars so because I use no not train cars locomotives because I use different ones than I used in the test version of this I made a smaller testing area where I built a small rail yard and a spur of a spur line and now I'm building a liquor store for the city I might add even more later on but for now one is enough and now I'm adding pavement so it looks better I thought about adding fencing in there, but the cars would collide with a wall with the fence, so it wouldn't make sense. Yeah, now I just, I for a moment tried to detail it with other things, but then I gave up. And yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video soon. If you like the video, 
like it if you dislike it dislike it but actually please don't because yeah please don't because it messes with the algorithm and if you really liked it subscribe and I'll see you next week probably goodbye